Okay, I'm ready to spike this shell now. And I'll just show you how I've set up my uh, Maltese jute twine to, to do the spiking. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, on the beginning of the thread there's a short video showing three or four different methods that Maltese guys are using. The simplest is just running uh, four strands of the string between a couple of posts and then walking down the, the 20, 30 foot line and wrapping the, the twine around the shell. Uh, other people sit on it and they've got the string coming off as I have behind my chair and then they put it through a hook at the front of the chair and then they just put it towards, towards themselves. It's not very strong this twine so you, in no way are you spiking it as hard as you would an Italian American star break. You're just pulling it tight enough to get it onto the shell and then afterwards the shell is uh, coated with wheat paste and, and white glue anyway so it all stays in place. So all I've done is I've got my four rolls. Um, this is, as I say, this is a special jute twine. Ned, Ned has got it in the store on the forum. Uh, these are just sat on a dowel. As you pull from the other end, it just, just unwinds like that. Comes up through a hook here. And I've drilled some holes in this, this uh, chair at the back and the front and fed each individual strand through. Uh, basically in, in an effort to try and make sure that when the twine is, is wound onto the shell that it's wound on flat four strands side by side it makes the spiking a lot quicker but I suspect there are, there are easier ways of doing it than this this is probably overly complicated anyway it comes out the front of the chair here it goes across here uh, wraps around four hooks still trying to keep the strands apart I've got a aluminium plate sitting on it to give just enough tension that it's not slack and then it comes out at the front here through uh, these four nails just to keep them separate again and then it comes back to here where I'm going to be sat and, and uh, wrapping it around the shell. So anyway I'll show you how, how I go about doing this. Start with uh, tying the string off around the spallet. You can't pull this too tight otherwise it will will snap. Just push it down up against the disc. Okay, now what you do is, as I say, it's not like an Amer uh, Italian-American shell where you Raunging on it and you're cinching it over the edge and you're trying to put enough tension on it you almost break the twine. You, you will break this if you pull too hard. The, the idea is just to get it on reasonably tight um, and the, the glue and everything later will do the rest. Now what you do is you come down and then across the centre, up the other side and then bring it across here And then down, lay it down the side of your first strand, alongside your strand at the bottom. Same thing back at the top. Again, you're not trying to get this on real tight. So you just keep turning the shell, laying it side by side, and you're creating this band on one side of the of the skelet here. This is the point normally where I would have the slipping problem as I get around the side here that the tie will strip off at the, the tire. 
edge helps to keep it in place. So you put a strip like this all the way around one side of the stylet. About an inch wide. And then come up across the top, it doesn't matter which way you go. And come down the opposite side of the stylet. Now you're putting a band across the other side here. It definitely helps having the, the twine coming out in four separate strands lying side by side. If you don't, uh, what tends to happen is that the, the strands get twisted together and you're just essentially spiking with one, one strand, which doesn't cover it as fast as it does with things like this. That's probably wide enough. I've got a band on the right there, so now I'm going to come. Uh, let's go one more. Back up to the top, and now I go back around the left hand side of the spillet and meet up with the, the right hand band there, and now go back down the left hand side again. During the pyro holiday, Tom Dimock uh, came up with a nifty little template for doing this. Uh, I've got to say his multi is spiking, though he'd never done it before, was far neater than mine. And uh, he's got some kind of tensioner device, which I think he's trying out at the moment, which uh, has the four strands running through some sort of... Uh, plastic block with tensioner springs on it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out and maybe makes the job a bit easier. Okay, one more. Okay, so now, now I'm half done. I've got uh, that band there, the band across there. Same on the top and the side. Now I need to fill in two more bands to fill up the whole, the whole space. So I turn it back around here. Take the center point here where I've got the gap left. 
go down to the centre again, back up to the top, left of the spalletti, and I'm just filling this gap in here on the left now.
last two turns. Okay, I think you can see now there's the six bands now across the bottom. The whole of the bottom is covered, the whole of the side of the shell is covered. And on the top there's just six little triangular sections which apparently, so I'm told, are normal no matter how you uh, spike it, you, that's, that ends up with these little triangular bits at the top. And now you wind it down the bottom as you would an Italian-American style shell. Take it right down to the bottom edge. And then you roll it up. I actually have a shell roller over there which uh, I've not tried this out yet, but I think in the future what I'll do is I'll do the vertical spiking, then I'll put the shell on the roller and just turn the roller and guide the twine onto it. I've got a feeling probably quite a lot faster doing it like that. There's a Maltese video somewhere of some guy, he's got a little shell roller resting on his lap and he's just turning the shell and the, the string is going on nice and, nice and fast. This is uh, a little bit on the slow side. And you need to kind of guide the, the uh, string onto the shell so it butts up to the last turn that you've done. Yeah, about half 
halfway up there. It's certainly more time consuming spiking a Maltese shell than it is a Italian American. I would have finished the Italian American one with it. Now coming up to the, the top edge now around the top end disc. And I've seen most people put a put a clove hitch around it at this point. I find it very difficult to uh, sort of not no clove hitch, a half hitch. I find it very difficult to put a loop half hitch around the top of here with four strands of this of this twine. So um, I'm going to just cut it off instead when I get to the top here. And then hook it under one of the side pieces. Okay, it's now spiked, all the vertical verticals are on, the whole side of the shell has been covered in, in, in twine. And then what they do in Malta then is to paste white glue on the top and the bottom of the shell. And I put a good dob of it around the, the spillet as well. So the whole top surface of the shell Just the edges of the sides here. Okay, I'm 
bottom as well. Supposed to be a 50 50 50 mix of white, blue, and water. This is actually a bit thicker than that. Okay, and then the sides of the, the spiking are covered in wheat paste. 